Hey, I'm Nick, and I want to ask you if this situation sounds familiar to you. Let's say you're sat down at your desk in front of your computer trying to learn something new, maybe reading a book even, on a subject that you're interested in but find hard to understand and complicated, but you're willing to put in that work to better understand it. In fact, I relate to this situation as I experience it quite often trying to learn something new. So as I mentioned, you're trying to improve your understanding, but you're hitting roadblocks. You're hitting subjects that don't quite make sense to you. So you choose to take a break to better internalize it in your memory and to try and improve your understanding, but you end up taking the whole day off it. And then soon you're spending days without making any progress. So does that sound familiar to you? Because if it does, you're probably experiencing the same thing I was experiencing where trying to learn something new would lead me to spiral into confusion and thinking that this is too complicated for me. So what's a way we can not only improve our understanding, but by doing that we can further our goals in learning something new and getting stuff done throughout the day. So the first thing I want to mention is that a lot of the time when you don't understand something, you most likely actually do in a way, but just not in the full picture. You see, when you're given something to consume and learn about, if you're lucky, it will get broken down for you, but even then, some large parts of it can confuse you. Not only is that because it may be complicated, but you may not be able to find how it relates, and without finding those relations from one idea to another, what ends up happening is that the only way you can remember it and understand it better is by memorizing it, instead of linking it with other stuff you know about. So to combat this spiral of uncertainty and not understanding something, the first thing that I do is to take the time and actually write down what you don't understand. And this is really important because like I mentioned, you probably do understand a lot of it. You just don't understand how it relates or the smaller parts that you gloss over. So not only does this help narrow down what you need to figure out, but when you realize that you actually do know some of it, you may feel more confident in your understanding and have that drive to keep on pushing. And so the next step is probably pretty predictable, but that is to put in the research and understand what's going on and what you don't understand. And like I said before, find those relations from one thing to another to better improve your memory of it and your understanding of it instead of taking things as they are and trying to internalize that just by itself. So yeah, that was just a quick one today. It's just something that I experience a lot and I wanna help anyone who else who experiences that a lot. And to put it simply, to stop yourself spiraling into confusion and losing your confidence in a subject, taking that time to actually write down and pinpoint what you don't understand can help you not only learn about them, but find relations to one another and internalize that into your memory. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll throw up some more videos of the channel if you want to check them out. But until then, I'll see you later.